guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today just to share with you my experience with this smart wi-fi viewer which i just finished the installation actually my dad did the installation <laughs> So as you can see by the intro, there are some images that show what we have just done. Now I did that video in Portuguese and right over here I will just summarize. In terms of the installation, it was very easy. My dad already had a people, one of those classic peoples and we just had to replace. Now we had to enlarge a little bit the hole but that was about it. In terms of the installation itself, it was very easy very simple and if you have any questions then you can just read the manual which has all the instructions but it's very simple just had to put in the front piece and then use the screws to hold it back to that back plate then connect the display and connect it and basically that was it now in terms of feedback what i can say is that my dad is really happy and the thing that he talked most about it was the wider angle view or the wider view angle to be more precise because he was saying okay on my old peep viewer i only could see a little bit of the image and right now i can see the whole hole so this was the thing that made him most happy he had a lot of image one of the questions that he asked me was about the battery and how we could charge now this will depend on the way that we have our door implemented and one of the questions that i need to answer to myself is how long will the battery last it has a 4600 milliampere battery and if it lasts for four or five six months and that was the feedback that i gave to my dad if it lasts for that long we don't need to put anything right over there we just need to remove it for one or two hours and then just charge it and put it back in place and just leave it for a few more months on the other hand if it discharges uh, quickly which i don't believe but i will be able to tell you that feedback written on the comments down below once it passes a few weeks a few months but one of the other solutions that i was seeing is that we can place a small power bank near to the display and just plug it in and then in that particular case i just have to recharge the power bank and put it back in place and that is it the other way is to use the power adapter with the usb to micro usb cable which in that particular case i can imagine that some areas some houses will not be ready 
to use and some people will not enjoy to have a wire passing there so that would be my last option so in terms of the display it's great anytime anyone presses the button it will pop up the display for a few seconds and then it will shut down if you want to use it on a more classic way uh, let's say that you have another doorbell which is the case of my dad you don't need to wait for the person to ring there you just need to press the button and you will be able to access uh, to the image of who's on the lobby the other way is to use the application so the app uh, we have seen on the last video i will put the link right over here on one of the security home cameras from sjvs and the app is more or less the same it has more or less the same option so also when someone clicks or rings the doorbell this is really nice we can just answer the call on our phone it doesn't matter where we are i can be working and if someone wants to leave a package uh, it presses the button i will answer and i can say hey just leave the package there i will be home in five minutes so thanks very much and this is great we can have a conversation right over there which is really nice and basically this is it if i had to summarize i would say that the strong points is easy of installation easy of use the app is great and there are a lot of functionalities either if you want to use a more tech savvy usage like ourselves or if you want to use like my dad which is a bit more on the conservative side and probably it will only press the button to check out and maybe answer a few calls when uh, the button is pressed by someone the only weaker point that i see is the connection but if we have a good battery which i imagine that it has 4600 million powers it will last at least a few weeks or one month that would be great and in that particular case i would not need any power directly to it either i would just remove it for one or two hours and then put it back or i would put in a power bank and guys this is it hopefully the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there if you still have any questions leave them down below and i will answer as best as i can and of course i will also need a little bit more time of experience to give you a more accurate feedback that being said hope you keep enjoying your day on that side of the screen my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one